All right, good evening, YouTube. It has been several months <clears throat> since I've given you guys an update <clears throat> regarding my 2018 Mustang GT. Um, it's been, I believe, around August of 2018 since that Mustang was uh, bought back. Um, just to go over what happened, at 3,200 miles, the car went out on me. Um, once it went to the shop, they ended up telling me it was the valve body, pretty much the transmission. Uh, it stayed in the shop for 37 days due to uh, the part not being available. So once I started getting, I would say, once I was 20 days in, in the shop, I uh, went to Google on my phone and uh, <clears throat> looked up Lemon Law, started doing a little bit of research. Um, so I noticed with California Lemon Law, there's a, not only is there, you know, if you have two or more of the same issue with a car, you could, you know, see if you could get it bought back. But there's also a 30 day or more in the shop uh, law with California Lemon Law. So if your car's in the shop more than 30 days within the first year or 18,000 miles, and the 30 days does not have to be consecutive it could be just 30 days within a year as long as you're under 18 i'm sorry it's a year and a half within a year and a half if you're under 18,000 miles and your car has been in the shop with it for 30 days total within that year and a half um, you qualify for a living law buyback so if you hit that 30 day mark in the shop get your living law attorney i mean it's easy um so anyways i'll explain what happened so that's what i did i uh once I found that 30 day rule, I uh, went to Google again and I put uh, limit law attorneys in California. It gave me a limit law attorney, um, I would say within an hour and a half, two hours away of where I live. Um, another good thing about it is everything was done through email and over the phone. I never met my limit law attorney or anything. I pretty much uh, got a free consultation as always. So I called her, uh, I explained to her the situation and for the most part, um, once you get a consultation, um, they'll only take your case pretty much if they know they're gonna win. Because uh, with living law buybacks, the manufacturer is responsible for paying all attorney's fees. So literally nothing out of pocket. Um, you will be responsible for nothing out of pocket. Everything will be paid by the manufacturer upon winning. That's why they, once they uh, take that consultation, if they feel like, um, you have a strong case they'll take it because like i said the manufacturer um has to pay the attorney fees um so anyways i uh had the consultation with her she said everything was good to go looks good um she actually told me to wait we weren't at 30 days yet we were probably around 14 days in when i uh contacted her just to give her a heads up because the dealership already told me the car is going to be in the shop for a good while so I already had a heads up. They said the part wasn't available. So they gave me a, a long-term rental car. <clears throat> so I already had everything lined up. And uh, like my attorney told me, you know, let them take their time with the car. Once we hit 30 days, um, we could get started with the Lemon Law buyback. So um, before <clears throat> she told me that, I was calling the dealership every two days asking about my car. I was, I was pissed off, wanted my car back now. <laughs> But once I uh, talked with her, I realized, you know, it's, it's in my benefit to let them keep the car because once I hit that 30 day mark, that's pretty much a guaranteed way to get the car bought back. You know, I mean, keeping a car <clears throat> with a transmission replacement with that low, you know, 3,200 miles, I mean, that's going to affect the resale value. Who's going to want to buy a car once they check the Carfax and see it's been, um, a transmission has been replaced that soon. So I think if you, you know, have an issue like that with a new car, I don't see anybody that would want to keep that car because it's going to affect that resale value in the long run. So like I said, take advantage of that living law. So anyways, um, we started the claim, the living law claim with the attorney. I gave her all the information from there. She took care of everything. Uh, she would email me um, with any additional information she needed. Um, I sent her all the service records, all the documentation. Um, and from there, the process got started. It took, uh, 
it took maybe about six months, six to seven months from the day I did the claim. I say about six months before everything was complete. Um, so the transmission was repaired. I got that back 37, 38 days later. So once I got the car back, everything was working fine. Um, I was able to continue and drive the car. Um, the mileage from that point when I got the car back didn't matter. I pretty much could drive the car as long as I have the car until the case, until everything is done. And like I said, mileage will not matter. Um, the mileage that matters is the mileage that the car has when you first took the car in. So I was at 30, I believe 3,300 miles um, when the transmission went out on me. So that's the mileage they have to use. <clears throat> There's a formula they use to uh, to pretty much charge you mileage over it. They do like a calculation to see how many miles you should have put on the car. And there's a certain amount that you'll have to pay from the time it got serviced. But like I said, after that 3,300 miles, mileage didn't matter. So, so like I said, it took about six months before everything was final. I got the car back 38 days in and I drove that car for the whole six months. I drove the hell out of it too. I drove it to work all the time. I enjoyed it. I put 26,000 miles on that car. So I got it serviced at 3,300 miles when the transmission went out. When I turned that car in, I had about 26,000 miles on that car. And ownership, it was under 10 months. I would say I think it was nine months. I had the car for almost three months. And then I, it took about six months before the buyback was all done. So about nine months, I put 26,000 miles on that car. Um, and I didn't get charged for any additional with the mileage. Like I said, it started from that 3,300 miles and everything else. I got to enjoy the car, so I drove the hell out of it. I definitely, <laughs> definitely enjoyed driving it. Um, so anyways, uh, buyback was complete. She contacted me. She sent me a uh, um, paperwork to sign, a green. She uh, pretty much did numbers on how much I'll get back. Um, you get every monthly payment back. So from the day, from the day the car was uh, purchased, the very first payment, all the way until you uh, complete your buyback, you get every monthly payment back. So from the date of purchase all the way, I got everything back. The only thing you lose out on is if if you go into the purchase and you uh, were upside down on another car, or if you rolled any equity into it. Um, you'll be responsible for that. So, so if you get, so if you get that car and you were say four thousand dollars from your previous vehicle rolled into that loan, that's the only thing that you know you'll be responsible for any negative equity that was rolled in. But if you got the car straight up with no negative equity and you put five thousand down, you get all your five thousand dollars back and every monthly payment back. So pretty much they start you as if nothing ever happened. You get everything back. Um. So anyway, since then, obviously I needed another car. So I was looking around. I was looking at uh, uh, Chargers, the Scat Packs. I just drove some Camaros, uh, quite a few cars. Um, so what, did I, what I ended up getting was a 2019 Charger Scat Pack Plus. That's what I'm driving right now. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm already at 10,000. 881 miles and I had the car since uh, December so it's been about four months and uh, yeah I'm already at 10,000 almost 11,000 miles and no issues at all I cruise in it I drive it hard every now and then I do pulls um, cars running strong no problems at all after going through what I went through with the Mustang you know it's definitely refreshing um you know to have this car being reliable i heard a lot about dodge you know and how their you know reliability is iffy same with ford it seems like everybody has their opinion on what manufacturers have better reliability but at the end of the day all cars have uh lemons i mean ford you know has lemons pretty much every dealership has cars that has issues period you know if you get a lemon you get a lemon and like i said this charger i have is working running strong Seems like it's a good car so far, so I have no complaints there. 
Uh, so, like I said, Lemon Law, definitely take advantage of it. It's there to protect us. Put a lot of money into purchasing these cars. And a lot of times, dealerships, they treat you like crap. Once you, when you're out there trying to purchase the car, they're treating you like, like a god. They're, you know, kissing your butt so you can purchase the vehicle. And afterwards, they're kind of like, okay, we got you. That's why these laws are here to protect us. So take advantage of them. Make sure you do your research. You know, we have, we all walk around with computers in our hand. These phones, Google has, you know, can tell you everything you need to know. Go to Google. Uh, if you're from California, whatever state you're from, um, type in Lemon Law so you can find out, you know, what what does your Lemon Law consist of? There's so many, like I said, I didn't know about the 30 day. I thought you had to have, you know, uh, two or three or more repairs on the same part to qualify for a Lemon Law buyback, but no. There's that 30 day rule, you know. I mean, the car could be 30 days in service for anything. Whether the part's not available, they're, they're too busy, anything. If they keep your car for more than 30 days, um, yeah, you qualify for a buyback. And, you know, they did give me a long-term rental. I was definitely happy about that, but if they have your car and they have no rentals available, if you miss work, I mean, with the Lemon Law case, anything. If, you're, if you lost money from work due to the vehicle being in the shop and they didn't give you a rental, or if you do have a rental and you're paying out of pocket, they have to reimburse you for that too. So you're pretty much getting everything back. They make you whole as if nothing ever happened. So like I said, Lemon Law, make sure you do your research. If you're whatever state you're in, know your Lemon Law because there's so many things that can help you. You just have to have the information to know what to do. Um, so yeah, I have this 2019 Charger Scat Pack. I do need to do a review on it to kind of so you guys can check it out. Um, so far, it's been great. Uh, yeah. So if you like the video, I do have more videos coming. I'm actually looking to get a uh, laptop this week, um, so I can start doing some proper edits to my videos. I've made a few videos, but I didn't post them because, like I said, I'm new to you. New to YouTube somewhat. I've been doing it, but I haven't been editing anything. It's been kind of just like I'm doing now. Just kind of like a vlog, just straight up. So I'm going to get a computer. Once I get all my stuff together so I can give, uh, you know, do more quality videos, I'll definitely uh, post videos of the scat pack. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So if you like this uh, video, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll definitely uh, also uh, comments if you have any questions about Lemon Law. Or also, I'm, I'm also going to make a video comparing the 18 Mustang GT. I did have the 10 speed automatic to this car. I mean, I, I put 20, 26,000 miles on that car, so I definitely can compare the two. So I will I'll also do a video on that, comparing the two cars. I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in seeing the video comparing the Charger Scat Pack with the Mustang. Um, yeah, so if you like, uh, definitely comment. I will reply to your comment. Uh, subscribe, and uh, until the next video, once I get my proper editing uh, equipment, we'll get some quality videos coming. All right, you guys have a good day. Bye.